Hello there, Year 4, it's Mr. Conway here. Now, for today's how to guide, I'm going to be reading to you Ronald the Rhino. And what your task is today is to try and spot some rhyming couplets as I read through this story. So, I'm going to start now. It's a very good story, and I'm looking forward to reading it out loud to you. So, here we go Ronald the Rhino. Ronald the Rhino is so big and strong in the Javavan desert is where he belongs. His dusky grey skin is very well worn at the front of his head. It's a beautiful horn. He eats fallen fruits from the damp forest floor, but Ronald is sad. He longs for much more. Why am I special, he says with a tear. I live by myself. I have no friends here. All of the animals have a grand trait, something unique that makes them just great. I... Got it, he cries with a smile on his face, and he wiggles and jiggles all over the place. I'll be a leopard with beautiful spots, all yellowish fur and dark brownish dots. Ronald sets off to hatch out his plan, and through the dense forest his eyes start to scan. He soon finds some mud all sticky and wet. Great, Ronald says, I'll have my spots yet. He starts right away, painting on patches, using his horn to scoop mud up in batches. As soon as he's finished, he admires his work, but high in the trees, Leopard does lurk. What are you doing? Leopard asks with a grin. You've mud in great patches all over your skin. Well, I want to be like you, with spots on my face, to sleep in a tree, to run, leap and race. You can't be a leopard, you're too big and grey. You're a Javan rhino in every way. Ronald looks sad and sure what to do. He lets out a sigh, he's feeling so blue. Why am I special, he says with a tear. I live by myself, I have no friends here. All of the animals have a grand trait. Leopard has spots that makes him just great. <gasps> I've got it, he cries with a smile on his face, and he wiggles and jiggles all over the place. I'll be a python, my body's so strong, with smooth patterned skin and a tongue nice and long. He starts right away, gets down on the ground. He slides through the mud with a terrible sound. But as Ronald moves, he lets out a wail. His body is sore and bent round like a snail. Out in the bushes, now Python can see what the young rhino is trying to be. Why are you moving around like a snake? Your back is all bent and I saw your legs shake. I want to be like you on the rough jungle ground, slowly and smoothly sliding around. You can't be a Python when your skin is too rough, your horn is too hard and your feet are too rough. Ronald sits down, his head hanging low. What could he be? He just doesn't know. Why am I special? He says with a tear. I live by myself. I have no friends here. All of the animals have a grand trait. Python slides smoothly, which makes him just great. Leopard and Python see Ronald so glum, so they cook up a plan to cheer up their chum. We got it, they say, looking down at his face. Ronald wiggles and jiggles all over the place. His skin is tough and looks like great armour. His eyes sparkle brightly. He's a real charmer. His legs are so strong and his horn is the best. The animals love him, as you might have guessed. Oh, I want to be like him, Ronald cries out. His eyes shining bright and his feet dance about. So into the forest they set off to find the mystery animal that might change his mind. They come to a clearing with few trees around, with a beautiful stream, no one to be found. Leopard says with a smile, he lives just down there. Across the wet ground, he approaches with care. Ronald moves closer to look at this beast, his heart all a flutter, his brow lined increase. He looks hard for a moment, his eyes flashing fast, the water is silted with mud flowing past. He stops as he sees it and then gasps out loud. Leopard and Python could cry, they're so proud. He grins at the animal that he can see. By golly, it's amazing, it's wonderfully me. So there we are, your force. That's Ronald the Rhino, what a fantastic story. So now it's over to you. Go back to the PowerPoint, look through this story and see if you can find any of those rhyming couplets. Have a great day, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye-bye.